Welcome to Grayon Math. We are asked to solve this problem. We have a square, a black square, and also a blue square. And the blue square is rotated such that when you draw a line from this rotated uh, blue square, uh, it forms a this triangle, which is from the side of the blue square and the side of the black square in this line okay. and a green uh, triangle is also highlighted which is this uh, triangle and another triangle is drawn uh, based from these vertices of the square this vertex and this vertex of the blue in this vertex of this black square so we are required to find the area of the blue region or the blue triangle okay so first thing that we have to do is we need to focus on this yellow triangle so notice that this yellow triangle has a hypotenuse which is the side of the square and let us label this side of the square as s and since we are focusing on this yellow triangle, we label this the length of this yellow triangle as A for the shorter leg and B for the longer leg. Okay, so given that the area of the yellow triangle is equal to 10, so it is equal to uh, one half times the base time side and in this case the we can choose any of the legs to be the base or the height so area is equal to one half a b so 20 is equal to if you cross multiply is equal to a b or a b is equal to 20 okay so next is i want you to focus on this diagonal this diagonal is actually the side of the square and it should measure as s square root of 2 because it will be the hypotenuse of this isosceles right triangle derived from the square with side s. Next is I want you to focus on this segment. This segment is actually the diagonal of the blue square whose side is b. So if the side is b, then the diagonal is actually uh, b square root of 2. Okay, so next is we want to get this angle. This angle, let's say that this angle is uh, angle m. Okay, and since we have a uh, yellow right triangle here, let us call this angle as theta. And since that is theta, and this is actually uh, 45 degrees since this is the diagonal and diagonal of this black square so this would become this angle would be 45 minus theta so this is 45 minus theta okay so next we focus on this green <coughs> triangle <coughs> This green triangle actually has the hypotenuse. I mean, this is actually a right triangle because it is derived from this square, from this blue square, and this should be a right angle. And its hypotenuse is actually the side of the black square, which is which happens to be also the hypotenuse of this yellow square. Okay, so, and we also notice that uh, the longer leg of this right triangle is also the side of the blue square, this one, which is also the same with this, with this uh, longer leg of this yellow triangle. Okay, so next is I want you to notice that this angle is also theta because this is derived from this angle theta on the yellow, this yellow. And you just we just move here by via the blue square because this angle is 90. 
So that is theta. Okay, so next is we should get this angle. Okay, so notice that this is actually the diagonal of the blue square, this side. So uh, the angle from this blue side should be 45. So this angle is also 45 minus theta. Okay, so next is we get the value of angle N. Okay, so angle N is actually, if you focus on the blue square, it is equal to 90. Then we need to subtract the two smaller angles of this uh, white. So that will be 45 minus theta. Then the, for another white, this is 45 minus theta. And from the green, to complete the blue, the angle, the 90 degree angle of the blue square, we subtract theta. Okay, so angle M is equal to 90 minus 45. We need to make this plus a positive theta. Then this is negative 45. Positive theta minus theta. Okay, and we cancel this. 45, 90, 45 negative, the two negatives. And this, so this gives us M to be theta. Okay, so as you can see, if you focus on this new triangle, we actually have two sides. And given two sides, the S square root of 2 and the B square root of 2. And in between those sides of the triangle is the angle theta. And we can actually use a cosine law to get this unknown side. So let us call this as x. Okay, so next is we use the cosine law. So cos for the cosine law, if you have uh, two sides uh, and an angle in between them, then the third side, the square of the third side, so let us say that the third side is c, c squared, the square of that is equal to the square of the two given sides. We say that is a squared plus b squared minus the sum of the squares of the two sides minus 2 times the product of the two sides, and that will be a, b, and cosine of the angle in between them. Okay, so in our case, so the unknown side is actually the opposite of the angle theta. So that is x squared is equal to, uh, one side is actually x squared root of 2, but we need to square this. So squared plus b squared root of 2 squared minus 2 times the product of the two sides, so that will be a square root of 2 times b square root of 2. Uh, then we need to get the cosine of theta. Okay, so setting aside this uh, equation, we must get, of course, cosine of theta. Okay, so if you focus on this yellow triangle, if we redraw this, we have here the triangle, the side is S, the hypotenuse, the opposite of angle theta is actually A, and the adjacent side is B. Okay, so if you try to get cosine of theta, that is equal to opposite side, I mean adjacent side, sorry, adjacent side, so the adjacent side of angle theta is actually B over s okay so cosine of theta is actually b over s okay so next is we replace cosine of theta with uh, b over s so this becomes b over s okay and we cancel this s and this becomes 2 so 2 times 2 
So this becomes negative 4b squared. Okay. So we just copy this x squared is equal to. And if we square this to this s, this becomes s squared. And square root of 2 squared is 2. So 2s squared plus same thing. But we have b squared. So 2b squared. Okay, so next is we simplify this. We have x square is equal to 2s square minus 2b square. And next is we factor out this 2. 2 times s square minus b square. Okay, but what is s square minus b square? So let us draw again the triangle. The yellow triangle. Okay. So this is the 90 degree angle and this is the theta. And this is S. And this is A. And this is B. So since that is a right triangle, a Pythagorean theorem can be used. So S square is equal to A square plus B square. So if we subtract B square, on both sides, we have negative b square minus b square. So, we have s square minus b square is equal to a square because this cancels out. Okay, so we can actually replace this s square minus b square with a square. So, x square becomes 2a square. And if we get the square root of both sides, get the square root. So we have the value of x is equal to the square root of a square is a and square root of 2 remains inside. So this side x will be actually a square root of 2. So we have a square root of 2. Okay, so next is uh, we already got this side, the unknown side, as a square root of 2. And I want you to notice that the sides of this uh, blue triangle is actually similar to uh, the yellow triangle, a, b, and s. So for the blue, it is a square root of 2, s square root of 2, and b square root of 2. And this suggests that this blue triangle is actually similar to the yellow triangle. And this also suggests that this is actually a right triangle, this blue triangle. Okay, so if we have concluded that the blue triangle is actually a right triangle, then the area is equal to one half times the base times the height. And we can pick any of the two sides to be the base or the height. So two sides between a square root of 2 and b square root of 2. So area is equal to one half times uh, for the base. Let's say if we want it to be a square root of two. So this becomes a square root of two. And the height becomes b square root of two. And if we simplify this, this becomes square root of two squared. This becomes two. And we cancel this out. This is two. And Okay, this becomes area is equal to AB because this cancels out. So AB. And earlier, we have got the value of AB. So area is equal to AB, which is 20 square units. And that is our answer. So thank you for watching until the end of the video. Please like the video if you like our solution and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so you'll be updated for more math videos like this. Thank you. Bye.